Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Bikebox Tepro 7132. The Bikebox arrived today and I had to be at home for the delivery because it's a very big package. It weighs over 52 kilograms and also it arrived on a big wooden pallet. So yeah, you had to be at home to tell the guy where to put it. And the different parts were distributed in three different boxes. First thing I'm gonna do is check whether the content of the boxes is complete. In each of the three boxes, I found a description on what's the content of the box. So here for box number one, two and three. So it's fairly well described, it's easy to understand. The instructions say that you should be at least two people to set up the bike box but I'm gonna try on my own. There is a user manual for the setup and there um, you need to pay attention that you look at the right one because here you have the bike box, the garden box and the small garden box. And the um, description, for example, here we have two different kinds for step number one. For example, the bike box is a bit different than the garden boxes, but it's fairly well described. Sometimes I wish they would have had a bit more of details in the drawings because for example, um, here it's kind of hard to see which side needs to be on top and which on the bottom because the top side has three holes and the bottom side only had two little holes. And in this drawing, it's impossible to see that. And also, yeah, in a couple of other things, I noticed that um, yeah, a bit more zoomed in version would be helpful. On the edges you have to add these um, rubber foam things. I wonder whether that um, makes it a bit more sound proof or quiet when it's windy. Maybe they stop um, metal hitting against metal somehow. Yeah, I think I'm a third of the way done with setting up the bike box and I already got a big blister on my finger. So it started out mounting this lower frame on the corners of this frame. You have six screws on every corner and I think this was the only part that could be done on somebody's own. And then for the rest, it was really hard. I think you need two people. So after only 50 screws, we decided it is worth it to take out the Akku screwdriver. Wow, we saved so much time now using this electric screwdriver. Why didn't we do that beforehand? I would recommend setting up the bike box outside or in a big garage because one needs plenty of space to set up the bike box.
we did it in a carport that's not so big so we had to move the bike box around a lot in order to be able to fix different parts to the box or turn it around and that was a bit of a struggle because it's also very heavy we also did not uh, notice that this top lid needs to slide in from the side so um yeah this uh, this red arrow shows that but we didn't really recognize that first time we looked at this description so we tried a lot having this lid up on here and kind of squeeze it in somehow while the lid was on this position but this doesn't work so you really need to slide it in from the side We got a little bit interrupted by a thunderstorm out there and it was really windy and rainy. This part um, hooking in the springs was a bit difficult. Uh, there you need some, some strength to do that. Wow, we built a far end box. After four hours of putting up the box, we stopped doing that now, but we are almost finished. I just need to do a few little things tomorrow and then it's done. And I got now a few more blisters on my fingers. The description is missing one part um, about those two things. So here um, they should be added, I think, in the final step, because here you see that the edge is still green. And then in the next page, uh, you see that here it's black. So I assume those are these things but it's not really um, yeah, specifically described in here. Usually they tell then here number, I don't know, X, Y has to be added there, but this is missing. I didn't consider that one needs quite a big lock to lock up the bike box. The material comes with um, drills, so if you want to fix the box on the ground, um, that's really nice that they deliver the, um, yeah, that drill with you so that you can um, drill into the cement. The lid of the bike box can be easily opened with only one hand. And once the lid is open, it also stays in a stable position. The bike box can fit up to three bikes. Also, closing of the lid works with only one hand. That's because of the handy spring system and the action hinged lid. The bike box is 1 meter 96 centimeters wide, 89 centimeters deep and 133 centimeters high. I think in general, the bike box has a good quality. It consists of thick galvanized steel sheets and also the color is PVC coated and that should protect the bike box from corrosion that happens due to rain, for example. <laughs> 